what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you of course the pixel experience ROM because I have been using it for a quite a long time and I did receive quite a few updates for this ROM and right now I'm on the 20 December 2018 build of the pixel experience ROM and by the way I wish you all a very happy new year guys and this has been a great year for me I hope you guys have been enjoying this year too and I'm pretty sure that 2019 is gonna be a great year for you guys too so let's just hope for the best so right now let's just start the review with the like the launcher and stuff and how is the ROM holding up right now so over here to the left we have the google now cards and i gotta say the rom feels a lot like smooth and everything is smoother and everything feels like literally the google pixel device like experience and let me open some of the apps and show you guys so here as you can see the app open up animations are literally smooth and it feels like quite buttery and i do like that thing and over here as you can see all the apps like opens quite fast and the animation is pretty smooth no glitches at all so let me open some more apps like youtube and let's just open all of them from memory so here as you can see all the apps are in memory and i do not have any kind of issues regarding memory management at all so i have to say the memory management of this rom is pretty great but i have to say one thing that if you have used any other custom roms you will definitely miss one thing over here that is the customizations well there are no customizations at all in this rom and over here let me just go into the settings and then let's go into system so over here we have the gesture feature and you have this like swipe up thing so that you can just swipe up once to get the recent panel and you can just swipe all the way up to get the app drawer so that's how it is in android pie and i did enable the developer option to get this like let me just show you so i did enable the developer option to get this file transfer option in usb so that's how you do it in like android pie and you do have the system updates option from here and you can check for updates and install them too from the system updates and over here we have the about section and in android version let me just show you it shows as android pie as you can see let's just go back here we have the security patches december 5th 2018 and here's the baseband version and kernel version the derp kernel is the stock kernel over here and the build number as you can see is 20th december 2018 official one so let me just go back and inside security one good thing you will see then just go inside this lock screen preference then just go into this automatic face unlock and enable this toggle so that's all you have to do then just go back and just go to smart lock and set up your face unlock or the like the face recognition stuff so let's go trusted face let's set it up so i did like enable the face unlock option so as you can see the face auto unlock is there and it works just fine let me just point the phone as you can see it just unlocks automatically let me just try it again so as you can see it just unlocks automatically and let me just unlock this phone with the fingerprint scanner so as you can see the fingerprint scanner too is pretty fast i do not have any kind of complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner too but it's not like too slow it's pretty fast but not as fast as MIUI of course so that's how it is and the stock camera over here in this room is the Mi a camera and over here you do get the AI option and stuff so that's how it is and portrait mode and stuff does work super fine over here so you don't need to worry at all regarding these kind of things and the portrait selfie and stuff does work too so as you can see it just like enables the blurry kind of thing let me just take a picture quickly so as you can see it works and the portrait mode pictures are fine so everything is there and let me just show you the video settings let's go over here so here you will get the fhd 1080p but is there a 60 fps i don't know i think there is no 60 fps as of now in this camera so that's a difference from the mi a2's camera app and the mi y camera app 
which is by default and over here google pay and stuff does work super fine right away you do not need to worry but one thing that will definitely disappoint you is that on this rom you do not get camera to api by default so for the camera to api or to install pixel 3 camera and stuff you have to just like flash magisk then you have to enable camera to api then you can install any kind of pixel 3 camera or google camera to get the portrait mode pictures from a pixel 3 camera or google camera so that's how it is so google's algorithm needs camera to api and for that on this rom by default you won't get anything so that's a disappointment really let me just go into the display settings advanced and over here you will see the auto brightness option and stuff if you want to use them and nightlight is there and it just works as you can see the screen turns itself yellow on this option and we have the display size and stuff ambient display is there and this ambient display does work super fine even with this now playing option so that's pretty cool and double tap to wake functionality is there and it works just fine and we have the device theme as light and dark but we do not have any kind of accent color changing options over here do note that so no customizations at all and of course we do have the android pie digital well-being kind of thing over here and the battery life of this rom is pretty good not bad at all but it is around seven to eight hours of screen on time pretty much so you won't get more than that like i do not get more than that with my kind of usage let me show you the battery settings and here you will see the battery percentage enabling option over here and you can see the full battery percentage or the battery usage option and you can check whichever apps you used from here so that's pretty cool of android pie so the performance is really really good i do not have any kind of issues regarding this rom's performance i feel this is a pretty great rom if you do not want customization and if you just daily drive with pure stock android experience on top of android pie this is one hell of a great rom so let me know what do you guys think about this rom in the comments down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did not i don't know maybe just wait for some couple of more videos so that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel down below click the red like subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified in the next video i upload so that is pretty much it that is what i wanted to say about this rom and this is tito from kdntx signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now